In this world, the planet has dual gravity. The people who live above are rich and the ones below are poor. Each seems to be upside down for the other. They cannot visit each other because their own gravity will pull them down. The rich will fall to the ground, and the poor will fall into the sky. Paitma is an adventurous teenage girl, who loves to explore the danger zone. She lives in an underground village and is the princess since her father was the chief. The underground civilization she lives in has an incredible network of tunnels. She often gets scolded by her elder for exploring recklessly, and especially for going near the danger zone. Regardless, she is expected to set a good example for others due to her being the chief's daughter. Paitma was inspired to explore and see new worlds by her friend Lagos when she was younger. Unfortunately, Lagos went on a journey and never returned. Lagos gave Paitma a photograph of the real world which she keeps a secret from the others. One day, Paitma goes to explore the danger zone where she gets startled by the sounds of someone walking. She picks up a rod and looks around in fear and wonders if maybe she should go back. Soon she comes to face with a figure with red glowing eyes. The figure charges at her and she falls back. She blindly swings her rod to get the figure away from her. She notices the figure walking on the ceiling and realizes it's what she knows as Batman. The Batman attacks her again, disarming her and she starts running. She stops when she reaches the edge of the bridge and looks back to see the Batman not attacking her. Having nowhere to go she sinks down on her knees and leans to the side to catch her breath. The iron she was leaning on was rusted and broke on her weight, and she fell down the shaft. She wakes up in a jungle-like area and tries to get out of there. While doing so her bag slips out of her hand and gets stuck on a fence. She goes to retrieve the bag when she comes to face with a boy around her age. The boy is perplexed to see her inverted and asks how she does it. Paitma's grip on the fence slips and she starts flying upwards. She asks for his help who extends his hand, but now both of them fly upwards. Paitma releases her bag which reduces the weight, and they descend down. They both go to an abandoned warehouse with her clutching his arm for dear life in fear of not falling into the sky. Once inside Paitma releases his hand and steps on the ceiling. She sighs a sigh of relief and carefully peeks out of the door to see the sky. She remembers that it looks exactly like the picture Lagos gave her. She looks at the sky and since her sense of gravity is inverted she gets scared. The boy asks her if she's one of the inverted people. She gets distressed and asks what is this place where everything hangs from the ceiling to which he answers that she's the one hanging from the ceiling. She realizes that he's hanging from the ceiling from her perspective and gets scared since she knows only the Batman are able to do that. She starts panicking and gets more distressed when he screams at her to calm down. She realizes that he hasn't harmed her rather, he had saved her. He asks her if she was attacked by someone to which she breaks down thinking about what she's supposed to do now. Soon sirens start ringing and he informs her that he will have to go back to school, or he'll have to worry about losing his citizenship and being under surveillance. She panics since she doesn't want to be left alone and asks him which is more important school, or her. He assures her that he'll be back and tells her his name which is age. She says her name in return and he goes off to school. It's almost sundown when he returns with some bread for her. She gets excited to see him since she was getting bored there. Paitma finds age sitting outside looking at the sky. He asks her to join him and watch the stars to which she refuses and gets scared since it was giving her vertigo. Upon seeing the reflection of stars on Age's suitcase she gets curious and carefully peeks out to see the stars and gets mesmerized by the beauty. Age tells her about his father who also loved the stars and made a flying machine. But everyone else was against him, and when he fell from the machine and died others called it divine retribution. Paitma tells him that she understands how his dad felt since the stars are just that pretty and they both share a look of understanding. Paitma feels happy to have come to this world and witness its beauty. Age asks her if she came from beneath the earth. Paitma talks about her home, and how it's cramped and did not have open space. Suddenly they see four Batman coming toward them. Paitma hides back and gets scared. Age urges her to escape but when Paitma looks down at the sky she feels more scared. Age tells her that the guards are coming to catch her, as they believe those who fall into the sky are sinful and disgusting creatures. She asks if he believes that too, to which he denies. With newfound determination, she holds his hands and takes the leap. While Age runs with her he looks back to see the security guards. Paitma tries to alert him to look in front but he fails to see the huge crater he runs into until it's too late. But they land safely with Paitma's weight pulling him up. Age tells her that he can get her back home by hopping down the fence. Age runs towards the Batman and Paitma panics a bit but when he jumps over them she gets happy since both of them were flying. Her happiness didn't last long since she got captured in a net by the security with Age getting separated from her. She wakes up to find herself chained and sees a man enter. She tells him that she hates this inverted world. 
to which he replies that she doesn't know how the inverted people came into existence. She looks back and gets scared when she sees a huge painting of a few people getting swallowed by the sky. The man tells her that long ago a few wicked people tried to use gravity as an energy source, but their experiment failed and as a result, gravity was inverted across the world. To not repeat the same mistakes, the nation of Ega was created a nation that provides comfort to its people through strict law and order, literally, this guy is a tyrant. He informs her that the experiment also created the inverted creatures who chose to live underground. He doesn't want even one person from Aga to sin by associating with anyone from the underground. Katma confusedly asks what he means by sin. He replies that it all started when one inverted came to Aga. Katma turns back and to her horror sees the dead body of Lagos her childhood friend who went missing, in a glass container filled with a liquid. She falls to her knees in shock. He continues that the inverted one tried to upend their city's order along with one of their citizens. Paitma thrashes while Izamura takes her to the window and threatens to release her into the sky. Getting scared she shuts her eyes and clutches his arm. Izamura reminds her that now she'll have to rely on him for safety. Paitma gets moved to the highest floor with her bed on the glass ceiling and a weight attached to her leg. She looks down at her bed and gets flashbacks of being threatened to be thrown into the sky and gets scared. She squeezes her eyes in fear and calls for Age and to her astonishment Age comes and hugs her. Age infiltrated that tower with the help of Porta to save Paitma. Age apologizes to her for leaving her alone, and she cries out of relief. Their moment of happiness cuts short when they see the lights being turned on and hear the footsteps of guards. Age throws a chair to the ceiling breaking the glass, and together with Paitma they get out. But he holds onto the ceiling since Paitma has a weight attached to her leg which will make them fly to the sky. Soon Izumura comes and kicks Age off her while Paitma holds onto Izumura. Izumura gives his gun to his subordinate Jake and asks him to shoot Age. Paitma climbs down Izumura kicking him she throws herself towards Age. Age quickly holds onto her and together they fly up in the sky. As they fly upwards and seem to reach the sky, they realize that the stars they see are artificial lights produced by machinery. They find her bag and Age's dad's flying machine stuck on the machine floor. In the flying machine, they find Age's dad's diary. As Age reads that diary they find out that his father was the one who hid Lagos when he came to the surface. With the help of Lagos Age's dad made the flying machine and his dad's plan was after the experiment he'd help Lagos fulfill his dream of uniting all mankind. Paitma feels a bit sad realizing that Age's dad was closer to Lagos than her. During the day it got incredibly hot for Paitma to walk anywhere on the machinery. But thankfully Age found the lever to release the machine and it flew down with both of them. As they were flying down they saw that the security officers found them. And to avoid getting caught Paitma suggested they jump. When Age asked her if she was scared she replied as long as she was with him she was not scared. Together they jumped down the flying machine and flew towards the fence. A net was thrown at them but they were successful in avoiding getting caught and jumped over the fence. Paitma reached the underground where Porta and her people were performing her funeral thinking she was dead. Upon seeing her safe, everyone rejoiced. Paitma sadly informs her elder of Lagos's fate. Age hands over his father's bag which contains Lagos's notebook. And just then they got attacked by Izumura and his men who pursued Paitma to reach the inverts. Paitma and Age fell down the shaft. Izumura's subordinate Jake goes to help the inverted people. And Izumura takes out his gun to shoot him when Porta pushes him and both of them fall with the flying machine. As Paitma and Age were falling Paitma sees the flying machine coming down after them. Fearing it'll crush them to the ground, she kicks it and changes trajectory and lands safely on the floor of the shaft. Porta calls for them towards the stairs. Age takes a step towards Porta when a bullet hits the ground just in front of him. Age and Paitma come to face with Izumura who asks him why does he not let her go since she is a sinful creature. Paitma closes her eyes in fear and hugs Age tighter. Izumura shoots a bullet in Age's right leg. He kneels down still not letting Paitma go. Izumura threatens to shoot him again if he doesn't let her go and entrust himself to Izumura. Paitma hopelessly touches Age's wound but he only holds her tighter and refuses to let go. Izumura points his gun at him and goes to shoot again. Porta suddenly attacks him and manages to snatch his gun away but Izumura throws him down. Paitma screams Porta's name as she watches him fall. With Porta gone, Izumura takes out a knife to finish off Paitma. Paitma whispers goodbye to Age and goes to fight Izumura. She takes the knife out of his hand and goes to stab him, but misses and the knife falls from her hand. Izumura holds Paitma's hand and is about to let her fall. Yet, the ground below Izumura's feet cracked due to age hitting the already cracked floor. They are now exposed to a whole new world above the ground. 
Izumura continues to fly upwards with only Paitma's weight holding him back a bit. Soon the flying machine flies towards them and knocks Izumura separating him and Paitma. Izumura gets flown off to the sky with the flying machine. Age jumps to catch Paitma and he successfully catches her, but realizes they are flying upwards. Paitma's weight is not enough to ground both of them. Jake throws a net to catch and save them. Age looks at Paitma who's still unconscious and he too loses consciousness. Age is awoken by Paitma and sees a whole new uninhabited world. Their Gramps tells them what happened a long time ago. He says a terrible experiment was conducted which resulted in many lives falling into the sky. The scientists in penance for what their experiment had created swore to oversee the survivors. The people who did the experiment abandoned their life on the surface and went to live underground. Thus it was revealed that it was the people of Ega who have inverted gravity and are the survivors of the experiment and not Paitma and her village. Paitma goes to view her new world. Age calls for her and asks her to take him with her. And they both hold on to each other and overlook Earth's true surface with thousands of ruined buildings, open sky, and birds flying around including a ring of fragments around the moon. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.